Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front. Once again, make sure y'all subscribe. All right, y'all, I'm back with my post-fight uh, post fight thoughts on uh, Julia Budd versus Chris Cyborg. You know, uh, shout, out to shout out to both of these ladies. You know, um, Julia Budd, she's been holding it down for like eight years before this fight. You know, she um, hadn't lost any fight since then. You know, she was riding that streak pretty high. And, uh, of course, you know, Chris Cyborg, you know, just coming straight here and taking on a title. You know, this Bellator debut and she went on and took on a, you know, a title fight. You know, she wasn't looking for no tune up or anything like that. She wanted to go straight for the, you know, the big dog. So, you know, got to say shout out to both of these ladies. And of course, Chris Cyborg now, because he's got like four world. She's won four world titles in di four different um, organizations. What? Uh, Strike Force, Invicta, uh, of course, the UFC and now Bellator. So, you know, definitely shout out, shout out to these ladies. But um, as far as how this fight went, man, I, I, I ain't going to lie. Look, I, I recorded a prediction for this. But, you know, like, YouTube was acting up while I was trying to upload it. It kept on stopping. But the prediction pretty much went the, the same way I felt it was going to go. I called it probably, like, Julia Budd was going to get stopped in, like, the third or fourth round. And that's what happened. Uh, Chris Cyborg was able to stop her in the fourth round. Um, she was just completely outgunned, man, to me. Like, she was outgunned on the inside, outgunned on the outside, outgunned at mid-range. Um, for me, I felt like Julia Budd was going to have more su success from fighting for completely from the outside, you know, using angles, being a little bit more mobile, kind of like Holly was, but keeping her feet planted and trying to counter Cyborg, you know, and land her right hand. Because in the first couple rounds, she was actually able to do, doing, um, she was doing all right with her right hand. You know, she was kind of um, throwing out those front kicks a bit and then throwing the right hand. But her body language was kind of telling me that she was a little apprehensive to try to, you know, she was a little cautious of the power. You know, she was already thinking of Cyborg's power. So Cyborg was kind of throwing that jab out there, but she was following up with the, with the uh, right hand and whenever she would clip julia bud julia would like lock up with her and get in the clinch which to me wasn't wise because like i tell people i feel like cyborg you know chris cyborg has very underrated clinch game you know a lot of people just think of the power from the outside and her going wild but she she can fight a controlled discipline fight too on the inside like if you lock up with her you she, you know you get in the clinch she'll get in those underhooks and she'll start kneeing you with julia bud if she wanted to do that she kept going over instead of getting those underhooks and getting her knees in so she was really getting hit with those big knees from Cyborg, and Cyborg was just, you know, manhandling. You know, she was just really, like, muscling her and outstrengthening her and landing the better shots on the inside, you know. And this this was pretty much all three rounds. Like like I said, Julia Budd, she would have moments, like, when she could be able to get to her feet or she could muscle Chris Cyborg to the fence, but it was kind of like Holly Holm. You know, like, when Holly Holm would pin Chris Cyborg to the fence, she couldn't really get much else done because, again, Chris Cyborg has great takedown defense, you know. Julia Budd was trying to get her down, but every time Cyborg get pinned up to the fence, she would just get in that position to, you know, protect, uh, defend from the uh, the takedown. But um, overall, man, it was just a, a very good dominant performance by Chris Cyborg. You know, it had its competitive moments, but I thought it would a little, I thought it, you know, I was thinking at first, I was uh, thinking, I, I was telling people, it might end like in the first round. I said, if Cyborg, you know, gets in there and clips her early, but throughout the years, you know, Cyborg, I won't say she's lost like a step, but she's definitely gotten older to the point where you're maturing how you fight. You know, you got to fight smarter. You know, it kind of cost her in the Amanda Nunes fight when she fought off in motion. But, you know, throughout this past year um, and even before the Nunes fight, she was already kind of fighting more of a disciplined fight, you know, where she was mixing it up and using more tools. You know, she was um, starting to really starting to really fight more comfortable with her style, you know, uh, fighting at this mid range and you know letting letting opportunities come to her you know and that's how it is when she seen the opportunities in this fight that's when she was hitting julia bud with those good right hands and you know when she clipped her in that fourth round and got her to the fence and she hit her with some good she hit her with some good body shots too i think she hit her with a good knee and then she just let go you know she just she just let go of barrage of punches and the referee stopped it which which was wise you know it was a good stoppage because like i said julia bud didn't really have an answer for anything on the inside as far as the clinches uh, she didn't try to strike from the outside, which to me would have been smarter, you know, and definitely from the mid range fighting at that mid range, you know, standing right in front of Cyborg is a big no, no, <laughs> you know, Julia Budd should have just, you know, kept it from the outside, moved around a little bit and, you know, tried to stay, you know, stay out of uh, the power zone. But overall, it was a, it was a good fight. It was a good debut, good Bellator debut for Chris Cyborg. You know, shout out to Chris Cyborg again. You know, she's uh, she's making um. You know, she's making history, you know, four world titles and four different organizations. But 
shout out to Julia Budd. I, I like to see Julia Budd, you know, try to uh, get back in there again, you know, take on another featherweight fight until then. And um, we'll see. You know, I got to look at these featherweight rankings to see who would be like the biggest competition or the biggest threat for Chris Cyborg from here. But yeah, man, that's all I got on this. And guys, definitely go back and check out the fight. You know, I feel like it was a, it was a good, solid, competitive. Um, it was a good, solid, uh, competitive fight for Chris Cyborg's debut. But yeah, man, again, that's all I got, y'all. Uh, let me know what y'all thought of the fight in the comment section. If you want to see Chris Cyborg fight from here. And uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.